What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, we are going to quickly compare the quick panel on the iPhones versus the quick panel on the Samsung Galaxy phones. And you are going to let me know in the comment section, which one is better. Now this is the iPhone 14 Pro Max running on iOS 17.5. And this is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14. Now to open the quick panel on iPhones, all we can do is just swipe down from the right side top corner and you can do the same thing on the Samsung Galaxy phones as well to open the quick panel now. You can see this is how the quick panel looks and this is the layout. Now this is subject to, you can let me know which one looks better. Uh, now in terms of organization of these styles, you can see we have got the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth right on top. These are the connectivity tiles which we have uh, on the uh, Galaxy phones and we have got all the other necessary uh, toggles here at the center. And Samsung has categorized the uh, display related tiles or display related options right here at the bottom. This shows the brightness bar uh, and we have got eye comfort shield and dark mode right here. And then we have got the screen mirror option and device control settings right here at the bottom. Now it looks like the Galaxy phone's quick toggle is well streamlined and we can quickly access the one we want because uh, we have got the connectivity toggles on the top and rest of the toggles at the center and display related toggles at the bottom. Whereas on the iOS, the Bluetooth Wi-Fi airplane mode are all uh, here at the top left corner in a bigger tile then we've got the music tile and we can of course customize this now when it comes to customizing this on the Galaxy phones One UI 6.1 we can do the customization right here on this page itself all we need to do is just tap on this uh, pencil button here. It will straight away take you to the customization menu where you can customize the uh, top toggles or if you want to customize the full toggle, you can just tap on this to edit it and you can just uh, drag these uh, toggles from the bottom to the top here to add them here. We can just tap on done and it has been added now. And after that, we have got the quick setting instant access by tapping on which we can enable the toggle to quickly access the uh, quick panel. Then we have got brightness control option. We have show always option as well as show when quick panel expands. And then we have got device control and media output buttons also which can be customized. Now here on the iPhones, if you want to customize the quick panel, you cannot do it right here on the uh, quick panel itself. So what you need to do is you need to go into the settings, then tap on control center. Now this is where you will have to customize it. You can move the uh, uh, toggles around, you can uh, remove the toggles or you can add it from the bottom here. All you need to do is press on this uh, plus button to add the toggles to the uh, control center. So that is how you need to customize it. So you have to take a couple of steps to enter into the system settings and then customize the quick panel or the control center on the iOS. Now on the iOS, is we've got this brightness bar here. Let me just press and hold on this. You see we have got dark mode, night shift off, true tone off. So these options are available for the uh, brightness bar here. Whereas on the Galaxy phones, we've got this three dot button here. When I tap on that, you see we've got the adaptive brightness option also here. And we also have adaptive color tone option right here. And apart from that, we can also add the uh, extra dim option, which is available right here on this particular uh, area. You can see we've got the extra dim option. I can turn it on or turn it off, which is an extra setting we have got on the One UI 6.1. The best thing is we have the adaptive brightness control right here on the One UI 6.1. Whereas on the iOS, if you want to turn on or turn off the adaptive brightness, you need to go into the settings again. Let me tap on settings. Now here you have to go to the accessibility settings and here you tap on display and text size all the way down we have got the auto brightness option so we have to take at least about three to four steps to enable or disable the auto brightness here this is something really cumbersome uh, i don't know why ios has got these multiple steps to change any settings we can't really quickly do it on the ios now let me tap on done here. Now the next important point to note is we do not get any third party toggles or third party uh, options on the control center. Uh, whereas on the uh, Galaxy phones, whenever we install a third party application, some toggles uh, associated to with those third, some toggles associated with those third party applications can also appear right here on the quick panel, which can be added or deleted depending on your requirement. Now this is how the quick panel looks and works on uh, the Samsung Galaxy phones versus the iOS on the iPhones. Of course, this is called the control center here, whereas this is called the quick panel, but for the Android users, this is all the quick panel. Let me know what do you think. If you have any points to add, you can uh, drop a comment and add it. And if you want any more comparison with the iOS, do let me know which part of iOS you want me to compare it to, or if you want me to compare the entire iOS versus the one UI, drop a comment and let me know. That is all I wanted to share with you guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find this informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.